My name's Sonny Robbins, and this is Okichita. Today I just wanted to kind of go over the movements a little bit so that people can have an understanding of how the strikes were actually happening. Um, a lot of people, like I said, will see in, in a lot of our movements, we really quick doing our, our, our 33 movements with the gun stock. Um, I just wanted to clarify a couple little things, okay? Obviously, if you haven't watched the, the movements, go and practice the movements, but if you're having any questions or concerns about a couple parts of it, that's what this video is meant to do, just to clarify that. Okay, so the first couple movements are just big paddles across, okay? So you can be blocking or smacking across, okay? You're using the flat side of your gun stock, okay? Flat side of your gun stock, okay? The next two are cross swings down, okay? So you're crushing the shoulder or blocking a weapon that may be coming, okay? So it could be a strike or it could be a block to get rid of a weapon, okay? But in any sense, paddle, one, two, strike, three, four. Number five is a block. Six is a strike to the side. Seven is a block. Eight is a strike to the side, right? Block, strike to the shoulder. Block, strike to the shoulder. Okay, and then you get to the lethal, but it's still a block and then a strike. A block and then a strike. Okay? It's one of the things I wanted to clarify. The other thing that I want to kind of bring up that's really important that I want to make sure people are doing is when you get further into it. So we'll go through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, okay? This is where I want you to think of and use your feet, okay? 21, 22, and 23, okay? You wanna make sure that you've stepped in and you're blocking to now your, your front side, okay? And I'm gonna come a little closer so you can kind of see where the gun stock is going. But your 21 is a block, 22, you're gonna drop it so that the bottom end of the non-lethal side hits low. It's 20, 21, right? And then you're gonna come back up to the spike, okay? So block, hit low, rotate spike, okay? Then you're gonna do a full rotation and crush and full rotation and spike. When you do that, do the rotation to the front side of your body. Don't pull it behind you, okay? Pull it in front of you, okay? And then the next three, same thing. You're gonna step forward, now it's gonna be the opposite side. Lock, hit low, spike, rotate, crush, rotate, spike, using the rotation on your front side, okay? Those are a couple really little things that I like to make sure people understand, because they'll see people doing it the wrong way. They're coming this way and it really throws your back in. You really shouldn't be tweaking yourself in that kind of a way. Make sure you're doing those rotations to the front because that's where you'll get that power, right? To the front side, okay? Um, and the other question I usually get is number 33. So after you've done those strikes, right? You have a stab, a cut, and a cut. And that's your 33. But then there's the finish it. The finish it depends on which way you cut first, okay? So stab, cut, cut, 33, and then you're just gonna keep that rotation coming and around, okay? So if I cut the other way first, cut, 33, and then come around the other way, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, those are just a few different little things that I wanna bring up. If you have any other things that you maybe have questions about, put them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them as soon as I can. All right, miigwech. Now.